Nathan's Gura here alongside Browns rookie kicker Zane Gonzalez. Zane, welcome to the Browns. I'm happy to be here. I mean, uh, thanks for having me. Did you know going through the process that the Browns were a team that was very interested in you, so you weren't too surprised on draft day? Uh, I mean, I knew that they were interested in the kicker. I wasn't not sure how interested. Um, but uh, once I got the call, I mean, I was just happy to hear from somebody and uh, ready to be ready to go to work. When you walked in here, I'm sure you saw the the kind of the painting or the wrap, I would say, of Lou Groza. You are a Lou Groza Award winner. Is there some kind of uh, symbolism there to be the Lou Groza Award winner and come to 76 Lou Groza Boulevard for your first NFL experience? Yeah, I mean, it was exciting to see on the side of the wall. I mean, I kind of learned more about it from uh, Judd Groza, his son. So uh, <clears throat> when I got here, I saw it on the side of the building, and I mean, uh, I was expecting to see like, a different name or something like that. But uh, seeing Lou Groza on the side of the building was pretty cool. So I respect the kicker, kickers around here. So, as a kicker, are you also a golfer? No, I'm not. No. I've heard about that a lot, and I am disappointed about, at myself for it. I'm disappointed. You're in Arizona. You're in, like, God's country for golf and no golf. Okay. So, you're locked in on kicking. Yeah, I need to get into it. I've heard it from almost everybody I've talked to. So, uh, I'll probably get into the off season or something. Seven of nine from 50 yards last year. Obviously, you like to kick the long ball. Is this a mental thing? Is it something you've worked on to be a distance kicker? Uh, definitely something I've worked on. Uh, Beginning of college, I was a little bit weaker of a kicker. I uh, didn't have a stronger leg. I uh, hit the weight room after never hitting it before in my life and started uh, working out Coach Grizz at ASU. Uh, got me stronger and got me working on a lot of stuff and uh, went into the season and was able to execute really well. Is the air already different for you? Because I know that mountain air, can, the ball moves a little bit. I, you know, I go down there and play golf, you can hit about 10, 20 yards farther. I know it's not the same kicking the ball, but have you noticed a difference already? Uh, I mean, not too much. I mean, being from Houston, it's kind of thicker air around there as well. I mean, like, so I kind of kicked in windy conditions as well. I was there about two weeks ago kicking. Uh, so I got a little experience with it. Uh, it's a little different out here. I'm trying to get used to the different conditions, but uh, I think I'll be able to adapt pretty well. What's kind of your impressions of your first NFL experience because kickers are kind of you're I guess kind of in your own little world over there but is it is it any different than it was in college uh, it's kind of the same kickers kind of do their own thing uh, they're kind of their own little group but I mean you get involved with the team as well but uh, you definitely don't sit in meetings as long as other guys do we'll be trying to stay active or uh, keep our legs loose so it's a lot of stretching and rolling out so I don't know if you know the history of this coaching staff but there has been a lot of turnover in Cleveland over the last five six years except for one guy the special teams coordinator, Chris Tabor. So he has been here, survived everything. What do you think of Coach Tabes? I absolutely love Coach Tabes. Uh, probably one of the coolest special teams coaches I've met throughout this whole process. Uh, when I found out I was going to be able to play for him, I was even more excited. I mean, without a doubt, probably one of my favorite special teams coaches I've ever been, I've ever met. Do you have any trick kicks? Do you have anything like, do you have any YouTube trick kick videos that people can check out of Zane Gonzalez? Uh, nothing on YouTube. In high college, we had a couple of tricks that we used to do. I'm not going to give it away because I don't know if Coach Slocum's still trying to do them. But uh, we did a couple of little, little past things, and uh, it, was, it was pretty exciting to get involved with it. What's the favorite kick of yours that you ever made? Uh, I'd probably say Utah my sophomore year, just the game winner in overtime. Uh, put us on top of the Pac-12 South uh, overtime game. Um, young at the time so pretty exciting to go out there and do that uh, just some memories of that just uh, are always we'll be there forever what are you looking forward to accomplishing here in this mini camp and the kind of statement you want it makes your first chance to make a first impression and they you only get one yeah. what what are you hoping to accomplish here have a great first impression um and perform to the best of my ability uh, i mean i know i have the ability to be great and it's just a matter of going out there and proving it. like you said first impressions you only get one so i might as well make it a great one um go out there and then throughout the whole offseason program just uh, earn my stripes and get to know the members of the team and then go into fall camp uh, ready to compete for a job. Already picking up on it, earn your stripes, a nice drop right there, <laughs> the earn your stripes. So Zane, do you feel a lot of pressure when you go out there when you kick or, you know, are you just in the zone locked in and you, you're kind of immune to it? Uh, kind of in the zone locked in. I mean, you can't really, if you're a kicker and you say you feel the pressure, that's a bad sign. I feel like uh, you, you kick so many balls throughout your lifetime and like it's just another kick. So you got to go out there with that mindset, I feel like. Uh, confident in what you do and knowing you can make each every kick uh, so for me that's kind of the way I go about it. Was there a kicker you idolized growing up I mean Neil Rackers was down there with Arizona obviously a big time kicker uh, he was in Houston as well when so you say you're from the Houston area was there any kicker that you kind of like were like man that's that's guy I want to be? Uh, I mean everybody kind of grew up idolizing Vinatieri sure. but then modern day uh, more Justin Tucker his okay. style and his uh, consistency in Baltimore which isn't an easy place to kick is uh, phenomenal so I've uh, been trying to uh, modern like modify my style after him but uh probably say those two guys more than anybody you know if, if you win this job 
second week of your NFL career, you will see Justin <laughs> Tucker on the opposite sideline. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I mean, as much as I admire him, we got to go out there and try to beat him, you know? So it'll Absolutely. be exciting. You excited for the competition and the opportunity? I'm really excited for it. All right, Zane. Thank you so much. Best of luck to you and congrats on being a bro. Thank you. I appreciate it.